Amputation is a life-changing journey. Everyone experiences a sense of loss after losing their limb. It takes time to heal and things will be different. Even though the process is difficult, we would like to reassure you that there is hope during this healing journey. There are so many resources available today. You can return to active life. We are a team with a wide spectrum of expertise to walk through this journey together with you. We focus on maximizing your independence and quality of life. Choosing to amputate is usually not a lone choice. Families play an important role in decision-making apart from the patient themselves. Therefore, we will always do our best to address why you are recommended to go through an amputation. The goal of amputation is to remove all dead and dying tissues and to create the most useful limb for recovery and rehabilitation. Why does one have dead and dying tissues? They are caused by factors like diseases, cancer or injuries. Complications from diseases such as diabetes or vascular disease can lead to infections that cannot be reversed or healed. Apart from that, peripheral vascular disease or PVD is a condition in blood vessels that is unable to provide adequate blood supply and oxygen to your legs. This results in wounds that do not heal. Injuries from electrical shock, car accidents or severe burns can also destroy blood vessels and cause tissue death. If you have cancer in your legs and to prevent it from spreading to other parts of your body, an amputation is sometimes recommended. Amputation is only performed when all other attempts to save the leg have failed or when it is necessary to save or improve one's life. My name is Andrew Gu Chengke. I'm 64 years old. I used to be a marathon runner and also I have a diabetes background. When I was young, I used to run a lot. I represent my school in running. I represent uh, SAF in participating in all the competition. And I also used to have a lot of award. When I found out that I need to have my leg amputated, I was very sad and depressed because I feel that I cannot have a normal life again. But I still need to face the facts. Life still has to carry on with, uh, with my family, friends and doctor and nurses advice. I think it's very important. They give me a lot of motivation and encouragement and say that I can do it and I think I can do it too. Having an amputation is the last resort. So before we go through any amputation procedure with patients, we need to have a consultation with the patient to let them know the risks like heart attack, stroke, pneumonia, blood clots and wound healing issues. We will also need to make sure that you have the right mindset to adapt after the operation. We hope to give you the confidence to know that you can lead a meaningful life after amputation. Our patients also need to know about the different types of amputations. The most common types of amputation are above knee amputation, where the leg is removed below the hip, below knee amputations, where the leg is removed below the knee, and ray amputations, which is an amputation of the toes. At Sing Health, our team of multidisciplinary experts will work together to prepare you. These include the surgeons like myself, anaesthetists, endocrinologists, the rehab team, dietitians, and nurses. Before the surgery, the doctor and nurses inform me of the procedure I need to follow. And example, I need to fast before the operation and also uh, ask me whether Am I a smoker? And I told them, I said, lucky I'm not a smoker. And they, they also uh, provide an antispectic uh, soap and uh, shampoo for, my, after, for me to uh, use. Up. Hey. 
patients are their most vulnerable going through amputation journey. The nurse has integral role not only in providing care but also in coordinating with other team members of the multidisciplinary team. We need to ensure that the patient undergoing amputations will prepared for surgery, receives rehabilitation after surgery, and prepared for a safe discharge. Our team will assist in your care needs, such as managing your pain and your wound while you are recovering in hospital. We will also look after your nutrition needs in order to promote wound healing and enhance your recovery. On top of constantly checking on you, we are just a button away from you. After the surgery, I feel very uncomfortable and painful. But the doctors and nurses are uh, it's always there to help me when I need help. To ease the uh, pain, the doctor and nurses will ask me whether I need painkiller or not. So I say, yeah, if the pain is very unbearable, I will take the painkiller. If not, I'm okay. After the surgery, yes, I do feel the swelling is there and the nurses uh, just put a bandage for me, then we, after the surgery, uh, the nurses still uh, put a stranger to uh, avoid further uh, damage to my thumb. The nurse also advised me to keep my thumb clean and to wash it daily and I do do my own massage. They teach me how to do the massaging so that I'll feel more comfortable and next time when I wear the anesthetic uh, protestic leg it will be more comfortable in order to improve my other leg the doctor put something on, on it to improve my blood circulation they also asked me to move as soon as possible in order to prevent blood clot and lung problem. Physical therapy is an important part of the recovery process. We can start these sessions as early as the day after surgery or even pre-operatively. The sessions include doing strengthening exercises, ranging exercises and positioning to help amputees achieve the best function possible and achieve their goals. We even have sessions to help get amputees out of bed and on their feet as soon as the medical team grants permission. Apart from physical therapy, it is important for patients to do breathing and circulation exercises to prevent other complications. When I had my first session with them, I was very shocked. They are very friendly and helpful and they guide me all the procedures step by step to ensure me that I won't fall. After the physio, I feel great because I learned a lot of things from them and this improved my strength on the leg, my uh, energy, and I feel more lightly after the, the session. And also, I do it at home also in order to make sure that I can walk with my prosthetic leg as soon as possible. I feel very happy and uh, delighted as I can have my leg, prosthetic leg, as soon as possible so I can walk normally again. After the operation, the, I told the doctor that I need to attend my goddaughter's uh, wedding in December. And they said they will try to ensure me that I can attend the wedding. After two to three months, the doctor told me that I will have my protestic leg soon. I was very happy as soon as I have the protestic leg, I can walk normally. So I was very glad that they keep to their promise. Some amputees will utilize prosthetic limbs eventually, but it may not be suitable for everyone. Participation during rehabilitation is crucial when considering suitability for prosthesis use. Furthermore, 
Factors such as your goals, wound healing, strength and function will also determine whether one will be suitable for a prosthetic limb. You should speak with the healthcare team about your suitability as well as the purpose of the prosthetic use. We have occupational therapists who will help guide the amputees in their reintegration to their everyday routines. First, we educate on positioning and maintaining their joint and range of motion. We will teach amputees on how to position their stump properly to prevent any shortening of muscles and stiffness of the joints. Some pointers are as follows. Do not place a towel or pillow underneath your stump when lying in bed. Keep your hip and knee flat on the bed. Do not place prolonged pressure directly over the surgical site. Secondly, we educate on modified techniques to perform daily activities. We will introduce strategies that amputees can utilize to manage their daily routine, such as dressing and showering. Our therapists will teach amputees how to get up from the bed, as well as perform transfers such as from the bed onto a wheelchair. The occupational therapists will prescribe equipment based on each individual needs. These often include a detachable lightweight wheelchair with a suitable pressure relief cushion. Shower chairs or self-propelling commode may be useful for seated showering and toilet transfers. Other useful gadgets such as a transfer board may be introduced as necessary. Thirdly, we educate on energy conservation techniques. Our occupational therapists will guide amputees in pacing their daily activities so they can perform important daily tasks in a safe and comfortable manner. Next, we advise on modifications to the home environment. Installation of special infrastructure around the house is often required to accommodate the new needs of an MPUT. To be able to get around your home, there must be clear access for your wheelchair to move around the areas of your home. Ramp installation may be required for entrances with curbs or steps. Decluttering and relocation of furniture may be needed to ensure sufficient space to maneuver your wheelchair. Grab bars may be installed in the toilet or shower areas for support to get up from the toilet bowl or shower chair. Lastly, we will also explore reintegration into the community. Besides being able to manage your routines at home, the occupational therapist can also work with you to maximize your independence in accessing the community. This may entail providing training on how to travel via public transport, being able to engage in leisure, or even returning to work. When I first know that my leg is amputated, right? I'm feeling very sad, but I did not get angry. My family uh, encouraged and helped me both financially and mentally. Especially the doctor always tell me to think positive and not to uh, think too much negative. At first, I feel very shy when people look at my leg, but people are very kind. When they see you sitting on a wheelchair, they will come and ask you, Uncle, you need help? Uh, I push you up, especially when you are on the slope. You are not alone in your amputation journey. Apart from your family and friends, we also have an amputee support group that goes through the journey with you. The amputee support group consists of a multidisciplinary team that aims to promote quality of life and independence for our amputees. This is a journey together with you. Please see a doctor if your injury does not heal or get better, or if any part of your foot turns black or blue, or if there is pain whilst walking that is not relieved by resting, if you have any unusual discomfort in your feet, coldness, cramping or numbness, and please seek medical attention early if you notice any growths or lumps. Don't care what other people look on you as a handicap. 
as you yourself have to face this challenge and life really need to go on. Be strong, be courageous, be realistic and be more disciplined and everything will be good to you as you think positively and uh, with your family and your friend who love you and uh, they will help you and motivate you so don't worry